Hey, how are you guys? Are you having a good day? I am so glad. I am too. Do you know what the best part of my day today is? Well, it's that I get to be here with you. Now, for those who don't know me, I'm Pastor Diane. I'm the pastor of the church here at St. Paul's. And that means that I do a lot of things, sometimes with adults, but my favorite thing is when I get to be with the kids. Because do you wanna know a secret? I'm kind of a kid myself. So we are going to be talking about Christmas. Who loves Christmas? Me. <laughs> I love Christmas. How do you celebrate Christmas with your families? Do you, um, do you give gifts to one another? How many people give gifts? Yeah, us too. How about a Christmas tree? Do you guys put up a Christmas tree? Yeah? How big is it? Do you wanna know another secret? I have a cactus. I have a Christmas cactus, for real. I'll bring a picture and show you. Okay, how many of you put up Christmas decorations other than the tree? I do that. And then how many of you sing Christmas songs? We, are, we sing here in church and the radio plays a lot of Christmas songs too, don't they? I know some of you are practicing your Christmas songs for the Christmas play that you all are putting on through daycare. I'm going to be there. I can't wait to see what you do. How many of you go to church? Yeah, obviously I go to church too. It's kind of a requirement of being the pastor. Well, there are a lot of ways that we can celebrate at Christmas time. Did you know that we aren't the only ones who celebrate Christmas? Did you know that there are Christians, people who believe in Jesus, just like us, all around the world? There are. I've been to a lot of different countries and I've been able to meet a lot of different people. And I know that when I meet them, sometimes they speak a different language. Sometimes they look different, their, their clothing might be different, and their houses might be different. But you know what's the same? Who thinks they know? What is the same is that we all believe in Jesus. And, and really, that's the most important thing. So if the most important thing is what is the same, then we're all brothers and sisters, aren't we? in a big family, Jesus's family. Well, people around the world celebrate Christmas too. And sometimes they do some of the same things that we do, but sometimes they do different things. So as we get ready for Christmas, I thought it would be fun to take the four weeks that we're going to meet between now and Christmas and learn about some of the traditions that kids and people do in other countries. Does that sound like fun? Fantastic, let's get started. So one of the things that people do around the world, including here, and you might if you go to church, is they celebrate with light and candles. Has anybody ever seen something that looks like this? This is an Advent wreath. Advent is the name that we give to the time leading up to Christmas. And every week in the church and in our Sunday school classes, we light a candle, one candle each week. Now, why do you think that we light candles at Christmas time? Does anybody know? Well, those are good guesses, I'll tell you. The reason we light candles is because we're about to celebrate that Jesus was born. And you might think that it's a little bit like lighting birthday candles, because after all, Christmas is Jesus's birthday, isn't it? But it's a little different than that. 
It, it comes from something in the Bible. I'm going to read you a very special verse that Jesus said when he was living in this world. Now, it was a long time ago, but because Jesus loves us so much, we can read his words today just like when he was talking to his original disciples. It comes from John's gospel, the eighth chapter. And Jesus says this to his disciples. He says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you will never walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Wow. Think about what that means. Have you ever been someplace where it's dark? It's scary, isn't it? I'll admit, I don't like the dark either. I know I'm an adult, but I still don't like the dark. I like the fact that my phone now has a flashlight on it. That might be the best thing that's on my phone, other than being able to call my family. But because the dark can be scary, Jesus came to be our light. He came for all the scary things in the world. What else are you scared of? There's a lot, isn't there? But when we have a light, then we can feel safe, can't we? And so Jesus came to be our light. When we celebrate Jesus and that little baby in the manger, we're celebrating that Jesus came to be what he said in here, the light of the world. And not just the world, but the light in our hearts. Jesus loves us so much that his love helps us to feel happier, makes our lives brighter, and it makes us feel safer. Because whenever all those scary things are starting in our world, we can talk to Jesus anytime just by praying to him. And Jesus has promised that he's always going to be there with us. And because he's there and he's our light, then we don't have to be afraid of the darkness as much. The physical darkness might not always go away like putting your flashlight on on the phone, but Jesus will light up our hearts and will help us to be less afraid. So that's what we celebrate. And it's why we light candles like on our Advent wreath. But did you know that we're not the only ones who light candles on an Advent wreath. If you were to go to Germany, which is over in Europe, you would find that they have Advent wreaths as well. In fact, it might have been a tradition that started over there. And now they light Advent wreaths just like we do. I told you, we all have a lot more in common than we might think. They might speak German, which is a different language when they like theirs. And we, of course, speak English, but we're all doing the same thing. And we're all celebrating Jesus, who is the light of our world and the one who makes us feel safe and happy. Now, it's not just in Germany and here in the U.S. that we use candles to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. There is a country called the Ukraine. Have you ever heard of that? People in our congregation have because we have a lady who has gone to the Ukraine and helped kids in an orphanage. That's where kids go when they don't have any family. And Marty probably knows this really well. That's the lady's name. In the Ukraine, on Christmas Eve, they take a candle and they put it in a loaf of bread and set it in the middle of the table. Do you have a loaf of bread with a candle in the middle of your table at Christmas Eve? No, I don't either. But in the Ukraine, that's what the families do. And they do it for the same reason that we light our candles. They do it to remind themselves that Jesus is the light of the world and that they can look to Jesus even when they're scared and when all the darkness seems to be closing in. But they're also not the only ones. 
it's a little different, but in Sweden, which is another country in Europe, they celebrate with candles too. Now, they do something very different. They don't have a wreath or a loaf of bread. I have a question for you. How many of you are the youngest girl in your family? I'm the oldest girl, so it wouldn't happen with me. But if you were the youngest girl in a family in Sweden, you would get to do something very, very special. On December 13th, which is coming up, every youngest girl in the family, they put on a white robe, that's pretty, isn't it? And a red sash. And then, this is the best part, they get to wear a crown. Not like Elsa or Anna, but a crown made of evergreens, like your tree. And then in the evergreens, there are candles. Now it's all very safe. They don't burn themselves. It's a special crown, so don't try this at home. But the youngest girl wears that crown with the lit candles, again, to remind themselves that Jesus is the light of the world. And Christmas is Jesus's birthday. He's the one we're celebrating, even though we do it differently. Now, how many of you youngest girls would like to put on a white gown and a red sash and wear that kind of a crown? Yeah, that's special, isn't it? Well, if you ever go to Sweden, you just might be able to see that. Now, candles aren't the only way that we can have a remembrance of Jesus as the light of the world. I'll bet you guys do something at home that can remind you of it, and it's not candles. How many of you have lights on your Christmas tree? I even have lights on my Christmas cactus. And some people put lights up on the outside of their house too. Do any of you have lights on the outside of your house? That's great. Well, those are reminders that Jesus is the light of the world. And if you have lights like that, like I do, like a lot of you said you do, then you are celebrating the same way as the people in Brazil. Did you know that? Brazil is a country that is south of the United States in a continent called South America. And they might live a long ways from us, but they celebrate a lot like us. They decorate their trees with lights and with glass balls that will reflect the light. And then out in the town square, they put up huge trees that reach up into the sky, bigger than we could have in our homes. Kind of like the Christmas tree in New York, if you've ever seen something like that. And when you look at night, you can see those trees of light for forever. They light up the night sky, reminding everybody that Jesus is the light of the world. Now, another country that celebrates with lights and decorations is Argentina. Argentina is also down in South America. They float paper balloons with lights, like lanterns. Have you ever done that? I haven't, but I have a friend who's done it. It's really cool. They call them globos. Can you say that? Globos. Very good. And they're paper lanterns uh, that have balloons inside and a light. And they're specially made so that they don't blow up or, or burn out or anything like that but they float them up in the air. That's their decorations, not on a tree or on a house, but up in the air. What do you think all those globos look like? Did anybody say stars? I'll bet that's right. I'll bet they look up and see all these globos up in the sky and they remind them of Jesus and of the star that guided the wise men. We'll talk more about that later, maybe. But then they're not done in Argentina. How many of you like fireworks? Yeah? Some people do. Some people think they're too loud. 
If you think fireworks are too loud, do you want to know a secret that you might already know of how to watch them and see all the pretty without the loud and that can be sometimes scary? Do what I do. Just like that. Eyes open, ears closed. And then it's not so loud and scary, but you can see all the beautiful fireworks. And that's what they do in Argentina. When they get done floating their globos up in the air, they shoot off fireworks. Why do you think they do that? Who said they do it to celebrate Jesus? You are absolutely right. There are so many different ways to celebrate Jesus around the world. Isn't that really cool? Did you know that all of these different Christmas traditions existed? Well, they do. And they're all for the same reason. You see, just like our language and the way we dress and what our houses look like might be different, the way we celebrate Christmas might be different. But what we're celebrating is exactly the same. We're celebrating Jesus' birthday. And we're celebrating that Jesus came into the world as a little baby because he loves us that much. He wants us to know that we're loved and he wants us to feel safe. That's why Jesus came. And that's what Christmas is really all about. So I have a fun craft for you because I don't want you to forget all of this. And uh, eventually it'll be something you can share with your family. So I have in a bin that I gave to your teachers, you might've seen it already. There are strips just like this. And if you notice, each strip has a country on it. So we talked about Germany. We talked about Ukraine, Brazil, Argentina, and Sweden. And we're going to be able to make paper chains out of these special pieces of paper. Now, you might notice that I already held up one that we didn't talk about. Who caught that? You're so smart. China. We didn't talk about China. They have trees of light too, but the reason they're included is because they do something special. Can you guess what it is? It's exactly what our craft is. In China, to celebrate Christmas, they make paper chains. Have you ever made a paper chain? It's really simple. You take your pieces of paper like this and fold them around to make a ring. Then you take a piece of tape, my tape is down here, and you tape them. You can also glue them with a glue stick or staple them with a stapler. And look, now I have a ring. Then you take your next one and you put it right on through and do the same thing. Tape that. Look it, now you have the beginning of a chain. And you can do this with all of the different countries and pieces of paper so that when you look at your chain, you can remember all the people around the world who celebrate Jesus' birthday, just like we do. Now, don't take your chain home yet though. Have your teacher put them in a safe place because I'm going to meet with you three more times. And every time we're gonna talk about different countries and different traditions. And every time you're gonna get new pieces of paper with those countries on them and you can add to your chain. Guess what you're gonna have when you're all done? You're gonna have a nice long chain that you can take home and de decorate with your own family. And you can tell them all about all of the traditions and about Christmas as Jesus' birthday. So that was, a, that was a good time today, wasn't it? Did you have fun? I certainly did. I can't wait to see you again next week. It'll be next Tuesday, right at the same time. And we're gonna talk about more Christmas traditions around the world. 
so that we can celebrate not only the way that we celebrate here in the United States, but we can know that we have brothers and sisters in Jesus's family all around the world, all celebrating his birthday too. Well, until next week, I hope you have great fun. Enjoy the snow. I know Miss Kay is very happy about the snow. I would like to close in prayer. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and let's pray together. God, thank you so much that we celebrate Christmas. Thank you that Jesus came to show us how much Jesus loves us and how much you love us. Thank you that Christmas is Jesus's birthday. We are so excited to celebrate Christmas and especially to know how kids around the world celebrate Christmas too. We pray that you would bless us as we get ready for Christmas. And God, we pray that you would bless them too because we all celebrate the same thing, just in different ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. And so until next week, celebrate and get ready for Christmas, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.